What a morning, oh my goodness. I'm out in this just beautiful, beautiful area right now, uh, up in the high desert. A few weeks ago I posted a video, I was out in the desert looking for uh, mule deer to try to get them in those red rocks. It's just beautiful, beautiful out there. And uh, you know, I spent a couple days with them out there and it just wasn't enough for me, so uh, I'm back out looking for mule deer again in a completely different area. I've never been out here before. It's a brand new area for me. Uh, I've never even passed through here, so I'm gonna be out here backpacking for the next couple days, just looking to see what I can find. And let me just tell you, uh, last night and so far this morning, it's just been wonderful. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous area. I broke camp early this morning and uh, went out looking for uh, whatever I could find and I was able to find a group of mule deer spend a little bit of time with them uh, mule deer like I mentioned before in my previous video they can be very skittish and you can push them really easily so I try to hold back and if they want to approach me obviously you know I'll let them approach me but uh, which they did a little bit this morning they got fairly close and I was able to get some footage and then they uh, kind of moved off and bedded down uh, where the sun's up pretty high now. It's time for them to bed down. But, uh, you know, it's just a fantastic morning with them. They're so pretty. I love mule deer. And uh, especially out in this habitat, this terrain, it's just so cool to get them in the sagebrush and the rabbit brush with these beautiful rocks. Uh, it's just an awesome area. It's been so much fun. I'm gonna get some breakfast now though. My uh, water is completely frozen. It was bitterly cold last night, so I'm gonna thaw that out here in this sun that we've got going on and uh, see if I can get some breakfast here because I am hungry and I'm still just chilled to the bone, so I need a hot breakfast here. But uh, yeah, once I get breakfast, I'm gonna move off, find some shade, probably just on the other side of this rock actually. And then uh, this evening we'll keep going and uh, see what we can find. Beautiful area. Best kept secret of backpacking breakfasts. Full peanut butter in your oatmeal. <laughs> it's so good. I always keep a little uh, I bring a Ziploc bag of peanut butter with me when I go backpacking so I can mix it in with my oatmeal. So, so good. It's getting pretty windy, um, so I'm going to eat just real quick and I'm going to go find, try to find a sheltered spot. There's not, not much in the way of shelter out here. Um, and the wind, it's just kind of sporadic. It's not really going one direction, so this rock isn't really working um, but yeah let's eat and then let's go find a little shelter somewhere
Hey guys, good morning. Uh, I'm just getting getting stuff packed up here. Uh, starting to get a few colors in the sky, which means I gotta get out of here. I'm getting a late start this morning. Uh, it was just so cold, and I'm um, just, I was so comfy in my sleeping bag. I had a hard time <laughs> getting up this morning. I didn't realize how late it was when I, uh, by the time I woke up. But uh, I'm gonna get out of here go try to find some wildlife to photograph uh, while the lights starting to get good here but uh, you know I meant to check in last night with you guys I apologize I didn't it was such a fantastic day yesterday uh, I had been photographing some mule deer uh, last night and uh, I was making my way out of the area to uh, check in with you guys to get camp set up I didn't want to do a lot of talking around those deer just because I don't, I don't like to do that around the deer. It bothers them. And so I was making my way out of the area. And uh, the sun had set. It was really overcast. I didn't think I was going to get a good sunset at all. When all of a sudden, one of the most vibrant, beautiful sunsets I've ever seen, I got last night. So I stopped, got some footage of that with my drone. Then the moon came up behind these like pink clouds. Oh my goodness, it was so beautiful. So I was there until pretty much dark, uh, trying to document that. And then uh, I had to still make my way to camp, which I did in the dark and uh, got here, got set up and I didn't have any light to check in with you guys at that point. So I apologize. But guys, yesterday was phenomenal. Such an amazing day. Sorry, I'm like shivering. I can't, t I don't know if you guys can tell. Now that I'm out of my sleeping bag, I'm it's cold out here but uh yeah yesterday it was windy pretty much all day and uh finally you know was able to get out of the wind a little bit and uh i uh when i was making my way back to the mule deer yesterday evening i came across a bobcat i was going across the sage flats and i look over and about a hundred hundred and 10 yards away or so was a bobcat making his way in the opposite direction he had seen me already and he was making his way out of there so I just got a quick picture light was awful he was super far away and uh, I just got a rear end shot of him essentially just documentation that I that I saw him out here but a beautiful cat and uh, it's just so much fun to see the awesome variety of wildlife out here and then I uh, made my way back to those mule deer, spent the evening with them, just beautiful animals. I love those big ears that they have, the markings on their face and neck. They're just beautiful, beautiful animals. And I've had so much fun with them the last couple days. It's just been, it's been great. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find them again this morning, see if I can find, uh, or see if I can get some, some more pictures of them as I make my way kind of out of this area into another area uh, while I finish up this little little exploratory trip that I'm on. And uh, you know, I'm definitely gonna be coming back to this area cause it is just, it's been amazing. Such a fun trip, but guys, I am so cold. So I gotta get packed up. I gotta get moving. I can't uh, sit here and keep rambling on like I always do. So. Uh, thank you so much you guys for following along. Such a wonderful trip I have had out here. So much fun. Beautiful, beautiful wildlife. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Helps me out so much. And uh, if you're a returning viewer, or if you're new to this channel as well, please consider sharing the video around if you enjoyed it. You know, I'm so blessed to be able to spend so much time out with this wildlife that I do and in these beautiful places. I try to document and capture as much of that as I possibly can to be able to share that with you guys. And if you're enjoying it at all, please consider sharing it around. It really, really helps my channel out and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, you guys. Like I say, I gotta get moving. I'm, I'm shivering here. So we'll see you next week. And uh, again, as always, thank you so much. Be safe out there, you guys, in your adventures. I love hearing about them in the comments. So uh, don't be shy to, to fill me in on 
what adventures you guys are out there doing in your in uh, the comments. Sorry, it's cold. I can't even talk. But uh, yeah, I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.